Hello guys, my name is Bob. In this video, I will be showing you the solution to the McCoy series of ln 1 plus cosine x using the top right hand corner's formula. But before I do so, if you guys like the solution, help me press the thumbs up icon below this video so as to bring this video out onto the top of the search and more people will get access to this McLaurin series video. We are going to express the McLaurin series of ln 1 plus cosine x up to and including the x to the power of 4 terms using the formulas on the top right hand corner. The formulas on the top right hand corner tells us that a function of x can be expressed as an infinite series and before we are able to apply the formula, we are going to find what is my f0, which is the function of x evaluated at x equals to 0. f prime 0 is the function of x differentiated once and evaluated at x equals to 0, and so on and so forth up to uh, this function, which is f 4 times prime uh, 0. It means that uh, evaluating x equals to 0 of the f 4 times prime x. The first step we're going to do is we're going to express the function of x as ln 1 plus cosine x. After which we will take the function of x and differentiate it once. We get the following. In the denominator, 1 plus cosine x. In the numerator, negative sine x. Next, to find what is my f double prime x, we will apply the quotient rule in which we will square the denominator and in the numerator, we will have 1 plus cosine x. The first term, we will differentiate negative sine x, which is negative cosine x. In the second term, we will then differentiate what is my 1 plus cosine x, which is negative sine x. We further simplify the term and we will get the following, which is, I think, negative cosine x, negative cosine square x, negative sine square x. We will get something like this. We know that cosine square x plus sine square x based on the trigonometry identity, this is equals to 1. We can further simplify this term into this manner. And finally, we have the f double prime x as negative 1 over 1 plus cosine x. And next, we evaluate why it's my f triple prime x. The f triple prime x, same thing, we will use the quotient rule. We have 1 plus cosine x square and then we have 1 plus cosine x differentiating a constant is 0 subtracting away um, 1 plus cosine x differentiation it would be negative sine x so we have the f triple prime x as negative sine x over 1 plus cosine x square how about f 4 times prime x this one is a little bit complicated, but we can still do it. We will actually use the quotient rule as well, squaring the denominator first. We will get the following. And then in the numerator, we have 1 plus cosine x squared. Differentiating sine x, we get cosine x. Subtracting away sine x and 1 plus cosine x squared, differentiating that it will be 2, 1 plus cosine x, then we have negative sine x. Once we find what is my function of x, f prime x, f double prime x, we will now find the f0, f prime 0, f double prime 0, this five values by substituting x equals to 0 into the fx first thing we will get this cosine 0 is just 1 and then we have basically f0 as ln 2 for f prime 0 substituting x equals to 0 into f prime x we get in the denominator it's 1 plus 1 is 2 in the numerator sine 0 is just basically 0 so my f prime x is just basically 0 when x equals to 0. f double prime 0 is substituting x equals 0 into f double prime x 
So in the numerator is one, in the denominator is just two. So we get negative half. How about f triple prime zero? So for f triple prime zero, it's basically just zero because in the numerator, if you have to substitute x equals to zero, it's just zero, all right? And then how about f four times prime zero? So for this one, we have to work it out. As for the denominator, one plus cosine zero is equal to two to the power of four. And in the numerator, the second term, we do not need to evaluate because uh, anything, uh, sine zero is just zero. So we have here sine zero and we have here sine zero. Whereas for the first term of the numerator, we have one plus cosine zero is two square. All right, so this is two. So we have two square over two to the power of four times negative one. So we get negative one quarter as the f four times prime zero. Once we evaluate the following, we can apply the top right hand corner's formula to find our Maclaurin series of ln one plus cosine x. So the Maclaurin series of ln one plus cosine x is just approximated to be my f zero is ln two. My f prime zero is basically just zero, so for the second term is zero. Whereas for this third term itself, f double prime zero is substituting uh, negative half over two, we get one quarter. And we have also have a negative sign in front, x square. And then as for x q term of the equation, we do not need to substitute anything because uh, my f triple prime zero is zero. Well, for f four times prime zero is just basically the following, which is one, uh, one over ninety six x to the power of four. All right, and this will be the final answer to the Macaulay series of ln one plus cosine x. If you guys like this solution, help me press the thumbs up icon and do consider to subscribe to this channel for more Macaulay series question. I'm Bob, thank you guys for your support and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye guys!